Hey what up guys, today I'm gonna bring you gameplay of Real Racing 3 running on my iPhone 5 so you can get a idea of the kind of performance and uh, graphics you can get with this device and this game. Now this is just the interface you're gonna be working with so right here you have all the real um, all the cops I guess that you can enter in so there's as you can see there's a ton of them so this game will definitely take you quite a few weeks to uh, get through and then right here I entered into a cup and as you can see this is and on the bottom you can see all the races that are available to you and each of them has three different races within them so again this will take a lot of time to go through and uh, it's not it's definitely not a game that you're gonna download and then the next evening uh, the next day you will be finished with it this is definitely a game that's gonna stay on your phone for for a little while and uh, just want to point out that real racing 3 is actually free so uh, it's in a free category it's in top uh, 5 so you can definitely go check it out it doesn't hurt to download it it does take, uh, take up some space uh, but again, it is free, so definitely check it out. Now, in the past, uh, these games, Real Racing 1 and 2, cost quite a bit, they've been about $12. But since they have this deal with Apple, they actually made this game free. Now, if you still want to spend money on it, there are in-game purchases for the money, in-game money, that you can definitely buy. So as you can see, and definitely camera does not do it justice, but the graphics are absolutely amazing. If you really want to check the graphics out without having to download this game, maybe you don't have enough space on your uh, device, whatever it might be, and uh, but you want to maybe delete some other apps in order to don download this one, you just want to get the type of graphics, uh, then you can definitely just go to their website and there is a trailer for this game that you can check out and uh, again get the sort of feel for the graphics although even that isn't going to be really true performance because it's not going to be running on this beautiful uh, 4 inch retina display and actually uh, with that 4 inch display rather than the 3.5 inch display there is a lot more room for you actually to see the surroundings and um, your fingers aren't going to be taking out that much space. So here I just finished the game and I have an option of uh, play it again or continue on. So after that you actually these cars are interactive meaning that if you crash into something or someone then you will actually need to go ahead and repair the car. So here are um, your service uh, so here you need to service all these things from time to time that being your oil, your a engine, brakes, suspension and tires and here are just some of the repairs to the bodywork that you need to do just like that. So uh, whereas repairs are absolutely immediate, uh, service, um, you can, that does actually take up some time. So for example, if I want to change my oil right now, it will last five minutes. It will take five minutes. Uh, but say something like engine service, it will actually take 45 minutes. Uh, so this kind of puts off some people uh, but as you get into the game more, right now I have five cars, so whilst one is in service, uh, I play one of the four other cars in different uh, cops, of course. Also, I want to mention that uh, this game, Real Racing 3, as well as actually its predecessors, have a lot of settings over the controls. So as, as default, when you just download the game, all of this will be on and uh, I'll just explain what this all is so here you have your steering assist your brake assist uh, and as well as your traction control so uh, steering assist definitely is not something you will find in uh, real life at least not in uh, this 
way. Basically what it does is it helps you go around the corner so you don't slide and you get the perfect turn. Um, excuse me, but it doesn't feel realistic so I have it off. Brake assist, uh, now I do my braking manually but definitely this helps you to brake, you don't even need to brake, it does it for you if you have it set to high. Again, not very realistic. And then traction control, uh, just like in real car, helps you uh, from uh, keep, like, helps you keep on the track and uh, not to slide too much, and uh, so that your car doesn't get out of control. Uh, so basically, that's it to this game. Hopefully, this hasn't been too long. Thank you for checking out this video. If you have any thoughts or, or suggestions on this video or next videos that I should do, definitely leave that down in the comments below and other than that I'll catch you guys later. Bye.